hello welcome back again to my channel <laughs> and today is not about wordpress but um, I want to try um, something new for my invoice system usually I always use uh, Zoho invoice service uh, I always use that like from two years ago it's free service it, it's actually quite good but uh, I'm not satisfied about the template that it has come with the service so uh, I searched a little bit about the PHP open source which can handle the invoices system invoice management and I found one that quite interesting it is the invoice plan um, it's open source and this installation is simple the file size is not really big it's only like um, it's around 16 megabyte of uh, the zip file and the installation is quite uh, easy you can uh, it's, it's, it's like WordPress installation you need to you only need to extract the file on your hosting on your server and then just uh, run the, the the setup walkthrough I just like need some uh, need to fill the username of a database database name and password and then yeah just just like that it is quite easy and let's take a look at its feature this is the dashboard the front end uh, uh not the front end but the first page after you launch in into the website and um, i we have the client menu here to manage the client uh, so we can put some name the client information the fat id i think this is the the one most important thing for especially for uh, i live in indonesia and sometimes i got a project from the foreign country and uh, some of them usually need to put their fat fat id v a t id uh, how do i spell that how do i pronounce that fat or, or fat but it's quite it, it, it's almost same with zoho um and i think it it this can this this default field can cover up the most most of the, the client information and the second one is we have a quote here so we can uh, send a quote to client uh, like uh, the, neg the negotiation of price for the project and something and we have uh, act actually this is the, the most important thing of of the this about the, the invoice system it should be allow us to create like a single invoice or we can create recurring invoice so if you have like a single project um let's say you, you make a website and it's all it, it's done you already have a payment and yeah you don't maintain it you don't um have an agreement have a project to 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 maintain it uh, from time to time yeah you can use just create a single invoice here and yeah the good thing is we have the pdf password so you can just send the password to the client so he can open up the invoice file and yeah we have recurring invoice uh, maybe uh, usually uh, if I have a project to maintain the, the, the website uh, to, from time to time yeah I think this can um, be used and then we have the payment yeah we can put the payment if the client is done with uh, have sent you money you, you can just put the note here and yeah the payment me method for the default it is only two cash and credit card but i think um the best thing for this invoice plan is they have some forum community forum where we can ask 
and search for uh, the issue or for the topic which we need to find out and this is quite good I think yeah and it seems active I'm not sure whether this this open source have a github um, link but I think no because I download it f straight from the website not from github ah yeah, yeah they have a github repo here let's say yeah there is some discussion here you can like put your issue here if you found any problem any bug your encounter yeah you can put here and what's other feature of this uh, invoice plan oh we have a product here actually so let's say uh, you have one website you sell one website not a service not a website development but one already uh, made website yeah you can just put your product here I think yeah create product yeah there is product family product unit I'm not sure what is this but yeah, you can figure in figuring figure it out by yourself and there is a task which uh, we can set it uh, where it belong to specific project and let's say you have like one project to create website and uh, the website has uh, like a five page and you can put here like task name uh, making a front page or home page and you can set the price if you um, set the price based on how much a page you created yeah this is cool you know this is good very good or maybe some maintain like you okay you update the plugin update the theme or you make uh, some custom theme um let's say you have uh apa, you have a project create a custom theme and you divide the task the project um for a different task like creating a html file or, or creating a figma file first and then converting it to html first and this, the, the next task is just to create a theme file from the html yeah you can just set this and there is report yeah this what i need yeah this is and we have some this documentation link oh there is setting here so we can like add a custom field into either of the client um client what's that um i think it's crude yeah. c r u d create read and what is u i forget but basically menu to, to manage the in the wordpress this is the cost custom post type right yeah something like that you can add a custom field to this um particular menu and we have email template invoice group invoice archive payment method oh yeah we can add a payment method here like paypal or stripe or like um wire transfer or bank transfer yeah you can set it here and tax rate yeah you can define the tax rate here and this is the user account and there is system setting so we have a language here yeah i need to i need, I, I need to change it to the to the bahasa wait do it has indonesian language oh yeah it has first day of week i need to set to the monday default country i need to set to my own country team yeah Mon monday day no 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 i need to like here i think or here day first second is month and year is the last yeah we can set the currency symbol here currency code um yep to edr I don't need the zero tax rate tax rate 
currency symbol before number format um ah uh, yeah here i we follow i act i think indonesian following the european format it's using um it use the dot separator thousand separator yeah maybe disable yeah 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 login logo yeah you can change the login logo open report yep cron key yeah and we can set the invoices setting up we can set for all there is there is setting for i think almost all of the menu above enable project module default or let ah yeah you can define your 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 rate here and uh, i'm not sure whether this is good or not but i think i will try it for like um for the next the cup next couple of project couple of next project and let's see whether uh, i will move away from the zoho invoice to this but uh, if you need um, the system the open source system for managing your invoices uh, you can actually try this and yeah let me know if if, if you already did that or uh, you are already used that use this let me know on the comment box below and let's share uh, let let me know uh, your opinion regarding this uh, open source whether it's good or no so i think that's enough um <clears throat> as usual thank you for watching um happy coding thank you bye bye on next video